Welcome, we're back with another test. Today we're gonna be testing wet conditions because it was raining all the night and all, all day today. We're gonna see how braking with ABS and with no ABS looks like on the wet conditions. These are the perfect conditions to showcase how ABS works and it's, it's gonna make uh, braking much easier but we'll see if we can uh, get comparable tests with threshold braking uh, with no ABS. Uh, obviously you'd, you'd prefer having ABS in the situation but we're gonna see if having no ABS can uh, make you stop safely and in a short distance. I think for today we're gonna be braking from 70 km per hour. With work in ABS we're getting consistent results. In these conditions I feel way more confident with ABS than with without it. So the tests with the ABS are done. We got four uh, results that are pretty close to each other so we have something to work with. But one thing you might not know is that if I don't make the break-in I'm gonna end up in a swamp. So <laughs> for the stress factor and emergency break-in uh, there's that. Uh, we're gonna pull out the ABS fuse now. Since we've done this already, I know I know where to find it. It's the one over here. That's gonna disable the ABS. Let's start the car now, see if the ABS light comes on. And yeah, there we go. So we know the ABS won't work. At the end of every braking you can see the wheels lock up. That's because I clutch in at the end not to stall the engine. This is what difference it makes when braking with and without clutch. So if you threshold brake, remember to stay in gear. But remember it's only if you don't have ABS. With ABS you should brake with clutch in. This is how it looks like in the end. We got four quite close results with ABS. Uh, the braking was quite consistent. Uh, there is maybe a meter apart from the first and the, and the last line. But when we look at the braking with no ABS, uh, it's, it's way worse. If I locked the brakes completely, I would be going in the swamp or need to make the turn. But luckily it did not happen, but yeah, you can see that ABS in wet is where it's the strongest. And you can stop safely without ABS, but you have to take into account that uh, your braking will be longer and you need to uh, have a little bit more space in front of you. A few final words. I've been driving about the ABS with, for like five, six, seven years. And when I saw this after braking with, uh, with ABS, I was like, I am not super confident because threshold braking in the wet is hard and ABS will always be a clear winner and you always want to have ABS when you brake on wet asphalt, there is no doubt about it. But what I wanted to show in this test that even if you have no ABS, you can still stop safely. You will need more space, you will need to brake sooner. But if I did lock the brakes, like you could often see when people are showcasing how braking without the ABS looks like in the wet, I would be going in that swamp. 
So this is something you need to remember. If you have no ABS, if your ABS isn't working, uh, you can still uh, brake safely, but you need to know how. Do threshold braking, stay in gear, don't, don't clutch in because you're gonna lock the brakes. Don't panic and, and it will be fine. On this weekend, I plan to do uh, ABS versus no ABS braking in the dirt, on the dirt road. We'll see how that compares. And then when we get snow, I'm gonna do the snow one and that should be, that should answer all our questions regarding ABS and no ABS braking. Obviously it's no scientific test, but something to give you guys an idea of how it looks like so you don't have to try it yourself when found in an emergency uh, situation. So, see you guys till the next one.